in this problem, we need to find the angle such that when this thing is cut off from the rope, it's going to fly away. And then we need to find the theta such that it reaches the maximum right above the center of the circle. And then the first thing to find is to find the speed of this thing. And then we're given that it has the minimum speed such that when it's at the top of the circle, the string is not going to go slack. So using this, we can find the speed of this uh, particle at the very top over here. And that in turn will help us find the speed of this particle at any given point for any given theta. So first of all, let's just try to find the speed at the very top. So when this thing travels to the very top, uh, it's going to go in circular motion. And then we're given that it never goes slack, the string never goes slack. So as it goes in circular motion, there's going to be a centripetal force, and that's going to be, going to be contributed by uh, gravity and the tension of the rope. And then if this rope is never going to go slack, that means the tension here is always larger and equal to zero. And then given this, since we're looking for the minimum speed, we're going to deal with the case where the tension is equal to zero. So right at the very top, when the particle is, this, is at this location, the centripetal force is entirely given by gravity mg. So v is given by square root of rg. So this is the speed it has right at the very top of this location. And the next thing we need to find is the, velocity, uh, the speed that this particle has at this location. So when it's down over here for any, given, for, a theta, for any given theta, what is the speed? So using this result and then using energy, we can actually find the speed. So the speed at this location is equal to, so the kinetic energy at this location is equal to the kinetic energy of, at, at this location plus the potential energy gain from this drop in height, right? So if I let, so also uh, this r over here is the radius of this circle. So uh, if you use trigonometry, you'll find that this is equal to r cosine of theta. And so you see there's a drop in height that's equal to r times 1 minus cosine, cosine of theta. And so the kinetic energy at this location is equal to the kinetic energy you have when you're at the top plus the loss in potential energy. So doing a bit of rearranging, you will see that v squared is given by this expression. And so v is given by uh, 3gr minus 2gr cosine of theta square root. And then the next thing we need to do is to observe that when it's cut, it's going to fly off in this direction such that this angle is equal to theta. And the reason why we know this is that it's traveling in a circle. When, it, when the string gets cut, it's going to fly off in a tangent. And then tangent to a circle is always going to be a 90 degree. And then doing a bit of geometry, this is 90 theta, this is 90 degrees, this is minus 90 minus theta, so this must be theta, because this is 90 degrees. And so uh, now we can kind of break up this speed that it has into the horizontal and vertical component. And then don't forget, we want the, we want the uh, particle to reach its maximum at this very point up here. So first of all, uh, let us just try to find the time required for it to reach its maximum height. So the time required is such that when the vertical, uh, so it reaches the maximum when the vertical velocity is equal to zero. So the vertical velocity is given by, so first of all, we have this expression. And the vertical velocity, we need to multiply by sine theta. So this is V, the vertical component is sine theta. And then we need to find the time required for this thing to drop to zero. So g times t, so g is the deceleration. So the time required for the particle to, for the vertical velocity to decelerate to zero is given by this expression. So that means at this time, it's gonna fly up here and it's gonna start going up and it's gonna start going down. And then we know that at this time, this is going to be the maximum height, right? And our condition is that we want this point to be right above the center of the circle. So that means the horizontal distance traveled must be equal to this distance over here. And that's equal to r sine theta. 
And so we can apply this time that we have to this condition that the horizontal distance travel has to be equal to R sine theta. So first of all, we need to find the uh, horizontal velocity. So once again, it's the same expression. But this time is times cosine of theta. And then uh, we need to find the distance travel. So the distance travel is just equal to, so distance is just equal to velocity times time because for the velo uh, horizontal component, there is no deceleration. So the distance traveled is equal to r sine theta, r sine theta, and that is equal to the horizontal velocity times the, uh, times this, ex this expression, the, the uh, time gr 3 minus 2 cosine theta sine theta divided by g. And so you see that the sine thetas, they cancel out. And then these two square root symbols, they're the same. So we can just simplify like this. The g's, they will cancel out with this eventually. So we can get rid of the g and the r from the other side. We can get rid of that as well. So it becomes 1 over here. And then don't forget, we also have a cosine of theta over here. So actually, this is the condition that we need. We need to find the theta such that our conditions are met so that the maximum is reached at this very point. So all we have to do now is to solve this equation. So you see that this is actually a quadratic equation. So let us just write out what we have. So 1 equal to 3 cosine theta minus 2 cosine squared theta. So expression in a quadratic equation format that's equal to this. And if you factorize it, you get this expression. So cosine theta can be equal to 1, which is ridiculous because the, the solution is theta being equal to 0. And you know that's one of the fake solutions because that means it's, uh, it's at this point, but there is no maximum at this point. It's just going to keep going down. So that's one of the fake solutions we should uh, ignore. So this is not a solution. And the other possible solution is when cosine theta is equal to 1 half. Then his theta is equal to pi over 3, which is also 60 degrees. So there you have it. This is actually our answer. So the answer is actually 60 degrees. So when it travels, uh, when it's at the point such that this angle here over here is 60 degrees, it is going to, if you cut the rope, it is going to fly off in a way such that it's going to meet its maximum at this location right above the center. So the answer is 60 degrees.